If we're interested in having students who achieve at their best, we need to not only get their minds moving, but their bodies as well. We in my lab have been really interested in how we can think about using the body to help kids learn better in school. As we walk around this world, we have to contend with concepts like angular momentum, forces, torques, and the idea is that if we can get students to physically experience, help their bodies become actually the learning tool, then when they have to think about these concepts, they might activate these motor systems, and in turn, they might understand the concept at a deeper level. So we show that after students have experienced feeling forces associated with changing angular momentum, feeling the wheels, and we put them in the brain scanner and they're actually just watching videos of the wheels moving, we show that they activate sensory motor regions of the brain in a way that students who haven't had that physical experience do not. And knowing that our neural real estate, our brain doesn't always make such a distinction between the physical and the mental, gives us a whole new hook with which we can think about how to aid kids' performance. So we've actually shown that these sorts of physical experiences lead to marked improvement on quizzes they take in class a week later. So it gives new meaning to this idea of learning. We can't just keep students confined to their chairs. We have to get them up, get them out, and get them moving. And if we can do that in the right ways, we can help expand their understanding of concepts in science, in math, and all areas of schooling.